In today's video, you're going to learn how to make the most badass subtitles for your videos, just like some of the biggest YouTubers in the world. I'll also go over how to make the really smooth, professional looking cinematic subtitles that you see in motion pictures. All right, so let's get started. DaVinci Resolve has a really simple workflow for adding simple subtitles. In the edit tab, if you come over here to the left hand side, you can right click and select add subtitle track. That will create a subtitle track and over here you'll see ST1. You want to place your cursor where you want the subtitle to start. Then right click on the subtitle track and select add subtitle. Then on the right hand corner, open up the inspector. By default, it says subtitle. So you can come in here and type whatever you want. I'm going to type in golf tricks are really neat. Then when you play the clip back, the subtitles will pop up. Now there are some adjustments here. You can come up here to the style and select the kind of font that you want, the size. And what's really neat is you can turn on a background and then choose the opacity of that background. You can also choose the color. So if you want to come over here and select some random color, I'll select magenta. You can do that as well. Now, say you want to trim that clip, you can trim it just like a normal clip. And then say you get to another spot where you want to add another subtitle. You can just come up here to the right hand side and select add new and it will drop in a new subtitle just with the exact same settings that you had previously input before. Now, once you add a new subtitle, you can change these parameters, but keep in mind they are universal parameters. So if you change something like the size, it will change the size of every single subtitle that you have on that track. That's the downside. Okay, now let's get on to making some really crazy looking subtitles. Let's go ahead and delete those. And then on our track down below, what you want to do is come up to your effects and then select titles and make sure to select text plus and you'll see why here soon. So go ahead and drag the text plus down on top of the video clip. Let's go ahead and turn off our effects pool for now. Let's come up here to the right hand side and select title. Let's come in here and I'm just going to type in golf tricks once again. Now, if you guys want that Mr. Beast font that I used in the intro, you'll have to download it, but it's called Comica Axis. I think that's how you say it. You can find it online. Once you install that, go ahead and select that in the font drop down menu, and then you can turn up the size. Now, if you want to move the font anywhere on the screen, you can come over here to the layout and move the X and Y axis. So I'm just going to put that down here. Then what you can do is you can come up here to the effects and select video transitions. And then you can add on pretty much almost any of these to the font, which is really cool. So I'm going to drag in the zoom in transition to the front part of this clip. Now, shortly after it zooms in, I'm going to trim the clip and I'm actually going to hold down alt or option on your keyboard, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC, and then click and drag that clip over to duplicate it. You can either keep the zoom on or you can delete that transition, but I'm going to select the actual text clip and come up here to the video and select the golf tricks and type something else. So I'm going to type R for this first one, and then I'm going to duplicate that clip once again and then type awesome. Then you can come back up here to the effects and come under open effects and scroll down until you see camera shake and drag that on top of the text plus. Now, the reason I actually had you guys select the text plus option is because if you dragged in a regular text, you wouldn't be able to drag on any effects to that text layer. All right, so now what I'm going to do is turn off the effects and come down to this clip and change the font color to, let's say, yellow. Then I'm going to duplicate that clip by holding Alt or Option on my keyboard and dragging directly up. I'm going to come over here to the shading and then I'm going to come down to the properties and where it says appearance, I'm going to select the outline option. And then I'm going to also select the color of this outline option and select black. Now, as you can see, that's how I created this outline awesome word effect. And if you want to, you can come down here to the line style and select dot which is kind of cool. You can do the dash dot, which looks like that. Then also something that's really cool is if you go a little further down and go to the type, instead of selecting solid, you can select gradient. Then you can start getting some really cool looking font in your videos. And then if you just kind of play with the settings and do whatever you want, you can create your own awesome, cool subtitle effects and make it customized to your liking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.